hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we will be studying about the biphase line coding scheme so this is a part of polar line coding scheme biphase is a subcategory and in inside biphase there are two other categories which are the manchester scheme and the differential manchester scheme so now let's understand what is the manchester scheme now in manchester biphase line coding scheme basically it is a combination of non return to zero level that is nrz l and rz rz means return to zero line coding schemes so what is happening actually here in return to zero uh, the signal returned to zero voltage in the middle of the bit duration here also the signal whether it is manchester scheme or differential manchester scheme in both the cases the signal will return to zero but it will not return or it will not remain at zero level okay so uh, during both these schemes the voltage remains at one level during the first half and it moves to the other level during the second half so when you are representing a bit the entire bit duration will be divided into two parts and in the first half the uh, level signal level will remain at one uh, one voltage and in the second half of the bit duration it will move to the other voltage now this depends whether the voltage is moving from positive to negative or from negative to positive okay now uh, this is important again the duration of the bit is divided into two halves and each half represents a different signal level so in manchester scheme zero will if if we are representing zero then we will start from the positive voltage and in the middle of the bit duration we will transition and move to the negative voltage and there the negative voltage remain level will remain till the end of this zero bit the next bit that we have to encode is one now in one we will start from the negative voltage and in the middle of the bit we will transition and then move to the positive voltage then zero so zero we are basically encoding like this but here the transition is not stopping at zero voltage level and one we are encoding like this from negative to positive okay so next bit we have zero so again we'll move from positive voltage level to negative voltage level then again we have zero so from negative we will go up go to the positive voltage level and then to the negative voltage level then in case of the next one we know one is represented by first negative voltage negative voltage then transition in the middle of the bit and then go to the positive voltage then again one since one starts from a negative voltage so we'll transition from the positive to the negative remain there till the middle and then go towards the positive voltage at the end of this bit now in differential manchester this particular scheme is a combination of nrz invert and rz so rz again brings in uh, the change in bit level change in the signal level between the duration of the bit and nrz i basically means that if the next bit is zero we will transition otherwise if the next bit is one we will not make a transition but whether there is a transition or not the at the middle of the bit duration you will change the voltage okay so bit value is determined at the beginning of the bit and then changed in the middle so uh, let's see this this was the case for an uh, manchester scheme now this is the case for differential manchester scheme so in differential manchester if we have to encode the same data 0 1 0 0 double 1 then since we start from the positive voltage but the first bit that we are seeing is a zero so zero means transition so transition from the positive to the negative and then go 
remain at that level the negative level till the middle of the bit and then transition in the middle of the bit and remain at the next level which is the positive voltage level till the end of the bit now the next bit that we have to represent is one one means no transition that means the signal at whichever level it is right now it will continue to be at that level till the middle of the bit then go till the uh, to the next voltage level and remain there at the till the end of the bit now the next is zero zero means we have to change the voltage level so again from negative to positive then change from the middle zero again means that we have to change current is negative so we will change from negative to positive then come back at the middle and then again we will remain there till the end of zero one one means we do not have to change the voltage level so the same voltage level will continue till the middle of the bit and again another one means do not change the current level continue it till the middle of the bit and then change it after in the second half so this was the biphase line coding scheme in the next video we will be studying about the ami and pseudo ternary schemes so stay tuned till the next video if you understood our lecture please let us know in the comment section below thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam